Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In today's episode, I am going to show you about a Moodle plugin which is the multi-topic format. This is a kind of a course format plugin which allows you to switch your course layout into a kind of a new course layout. So I will explain you about this multi-topic format course format plugin in this video. So let us get started. The multi-topic format allows you to show multiple topics per page. You can have tabbed navigation between different pages. You can have collapsible topics and you can have the timed uh, option for all the course sections also. The features as described by the plugin author are that we can have tabbed pages which is like the one topic course format. You can have multiple topics per page which is like a flexible sections format. You can also have collapsible topics which is like collapsible topics course format plugin. You can also have optionally timed topics which is like the inbuilt weekly course format. You can also choose the course banner image which will be displayed on the top of the course page which is like the snap Moodle theme. You can also put some section images which is a bit like the grid course format plugin. So let me show you how this multi-topic course format works and how you can use it for making your course more interactive and more engaging. So as you can see that I currently have this course ready on my demo site uh, which is exported from the Moodle.net OER platform. So I will just switch the course format for this course and show you how it will look like in multi-topic course format. So for that I need to go to this settings menu and under this course format section let me switch from the topics format to multi-topic format. So the page will reload and you will have some more settings open here. The first one is the topic duration. This uh, is mainly related if you have the timed course sections in your course. So if you leave it as unspecified, there will be no highlighting of the course topics. But if in case you have some dates in the course, then you can use this to highlight the current ongoing topic. So you can choose either a day or a week here. Similarly, you can choose the collapsible topics. If you want the topics to be collapsible, then you can choose yes here. And you can also choose the option for the hidden sections here. If you want to show them or you want to make them completely invisible. And this banner slice will be discussed afterwards. I will tell you what exactly this is and how it works. So once you are done with these choices, then you can just click on save and display. So now as you can see that uh, there is no much change which is visible on the current course format but let us enter into the editing mode by clicking this toggle. And now you can see that we have an additional plus button here uh, which refers to add a new page. As of now we have this welcome the first course topic as the page name. So let me click on this one and add a new page. So essentially what it does is it will add a new section in the course. So as of now we will add the section 5 as a new page. So let me give it a name as let us say course resources and I will click enter. And let me add one more page as activities. So this is how I will just arrange my course. You can also add sub pages under these. So let me add one more page here as test. Sorry, assessment. That's it. So this is how I will arrange my course as first the students will come to the welcome page then they will go to the course resources and then they will go to the course activities 
under this course activities they can go through the activities and then they can go to the assessment so let me add the content here from this welcome page to all these other pages so if you go to this first section the first page then you can just click the three dots next to the any section and you will get a new option to hide uh, sorry to move to next page so let me click on this one to move it to the next page and you can see that it has moved to the course resources page similarly i will just move one more topic to the next page so it will again come to the course resources page but let me click once more to next page so that it will go to the activities page so now as you can see that i have few activities added here in this activities page i will leave the assessment page open so you can simply add an activity here or you can go as whatever you want let me now turn off the editing mode and you can see that how it will look like so now when you go back to the welcome page you will see all the first few course section here you can have the other tabbed navigations like this course resources and activities so this will all so so this is how you can uh, go through the tabbed pages here whenever the student click on any activity in the course then he can see the activity as well as he will get the navigation links back to the course so he can just click on this one to return back to the exact same page where he started so this is how uh, this multi topic course format look like and how you can use it now let me explain the slice under this course format there is a banner slice option what it essentially it does is it will capture the area of the course image which we, you will upload here so if you so if you upload any image here it will take the slice of that uh, image uh, from the top or from, uh, if you use it as 50% then it will use the center of the image and if you will use 100% in this field then it will use the bottom part of the image so i will just add any image here let me just add any image here and i will just keep it as 100% so you can see on the top that this is showing the bottom part of the image now if i will change it to 50% the well the image shall change here you can see and if i will keep it to let us say 0% then it will show the top part of the image so as you can see there is a bar on the top which is essentially this top of the bar of the image so this is how you can use this banner slice of uh, the multi topic course format if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get all the updates instantly on youtube and thank you very much for watching this video